beautiful struggle family welcome back to our channel today we are going to be counting up sinking fund progress for the month of august so if you're interested in seeing if and if and when to, if i made any progress keep on watching we're gonna go ahead and use the sinking fund check-in sheet. This is mine, I made it. I sell it in a bundle of three digital budgeting sheets on my Etsy shop. If you're interested, I'll link it down below. I sell it along with the expense tracker and the cash envelope breakdown sheet. So to get started, we started our month of August off at $3,078. So let's go ahead and count up birthdays and see what happened there. Okay, $5 in birthdays. So that is a change of $40. That's all good. Remember guys too, when you're tracking your sinking funds like this, this is what they're there for. It's okay that you use money out of your sinking funds. Sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, what did I do? It's like, yeah, someone had a birthday. Take a breath, it's okay. All right. <laughs> that was me talking to myself, by the way, not ordering everybody else around. Don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> All right, so my car envelope, so we started out at 451, and then we've got 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 96. $496 in car maintenance. And you know your girl's gonna use her calculator. Do you know that someone threw shade at me in my last video in the comment section for using my calculator? Come on now, if you're here and you can't appreciate this, this is not the channel for you. I am not good at counting y'all, I'm not. <laughs> not good at it. 496 minus 551. I just wanna show everybody that no matter what, you can do this. Even if you can't count like me, you can do this. So we ended up having a positive change in, in the car maintenance envelope of $46 for the month of August. That's awesome. I love it. This is editing Mia. It's $45, not $46. Okay. Christmas started out with $255. Let's give her a count. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80, 92 to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 305. Okay, so ending balance is 305. That's a positive change of 50 bucks. Sweet. Whoop, there we go. Getting too excited over here. All right, let's count up the emergency fund envelope. We've got $1,000 in the bank. That's my placeholder for that money. Got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so that was, okay, yeah, 220. So 1,220. That is a positive change of $45. And remember too guys, as you're watching these videos, everybody's in different places in their financial journey and focusing on saving for different things. So don't get down on yourself if someone's saving more money than you. And yeah, return the favor by not judging others either. Because us YouTubers that budget, we put it out there, so we hope to help people. Um, and sometimes it gets a little bit dicey out there in the comment section, so I'm just saying. Okay, gifts, five, 10, 15, 20. I said this in my last video. Your girl's just not buying gifts for anybody right now. I'm just not, I don't know why. Zero change in the month of August for gifts. I'm just not buying anybody any gifts. You could buy someone a present. Okay, the health envelope started out at 330. Let's see where we're at in health. 100, 200, 50, 70, 90. Wait, 100, 200. Okay, forget it. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. All right. 
So we ended up at 430. Cool. That's a positive $100 change in the health envelope. All right, our home envelope started out at $200. This is the down payment for my future home envelope. <clears throat> and we've got 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40. We ended at 340, that's amazing. You can tell where I was focusing a lot of my energy in the month of August. So that's positive 140. I hope you guys are doing well. Drop me a comment down below, let me know how you're doing. I love talking to you guys. Okay, kiddos, savings envelope started the month at 529. Okay, and this is a little bit funny. So I had to move their some of their money into checking, but they let me into this, their savings account, but they let me borrow their unicorn money. So this is $760 worth of unicorn money. That's very hard to count for mom, so mom's not gonna try. Okay, so we're just gonna go 760. Believe me, it's there. 10, 20, 30, 40. So the kiddos have $800 in their savings account now, which is a positive change of $271. Yay! That is so exciting. So exciting, I love it. Okay, and I wasn't gonna count this envelope yet. This is my taxes envelope. Um, I've only ever gotten one YouTube paycheck because I took a break for a couple months and it really hurt me in the algorithm and I only got paid, I think it was like $150 or something like that. So most of this money you see is money I set aside from some of my Etsy stuff when I did sell cash envelopes. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a starting balance and we'll just, we'll leave it at that and we'll just work on it in the month of September. All right, so 20, 5, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine forty one two three four five. Sweet, so we're just gonna say forty five over here, and we're gonna say it was a zero change. But I am gonna start putting more money into this as I get more YouTube paychecks, and I think I am gonna get an Etsy paycheck this month too. You guys have been liking my digital budgeting sheets, so uh, we'll be adding to this for my self employment income as we go. All right guys, so that's how we're looking. I don't usually bother adding up my columns. I really just do this so I can see at a glance how I did. This is why I do this. Um, but that's right. So thanks for being here for another cash envelope stuffing and counting and I hope you guys are doing well. Staying blessed and loved out there and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.